You remember that a discord occurs when a natural tonal order of two colors is slightly reversed. You can see that yellow, at its most intense, is a lot lighter than blue-violet. In order to make a complementary discord, you're going to need to add a lot of white to the blue-violet in order to make it lighter than the yellow. You will find it easier to make discords if you first start by taking your naturally lighter color and putting it on the paper so you can compare it with the naturally darker color. Here I've added some white to the naturally darker blue-violet, but as you can see, it is still a lot darker than the yellow. So I'm going to take just a bit of the blue-violet, add more white, compare it to the yellow, and ask myself, is it indeed lighter than the yellow? From the looks of it here, I would add just a touch more white. You'll get comfortable knowing how much pigment to add or not add as you work with these pigments. There, we've got a nice discord happening there. Now, I have a discord in which the blue-violet is just slightly lighter than the yellow. Now, to really experiment with this grouping, I'm going to add a little bit of blue-violet to the yellow, just a trace amount. Add this to the yellow. Now, the addition of the blue-violet to the yellow desaturates the yellow, and at the same time, it makes it darker. I'm going to add just a touch more. Incremental amounts are the ticket here. This mixture is going to have a little bit of pop to it. I'm going to compare this now to the darker blue-violet. These colors are delicious. Here are some other examples.